Hey, Visibility Hacker, welcome back. In this video, we're talking about marketing automation for small businesses. This is the second part in our marketing automation series. So definitely make sure you're subscribed so you get the rest of this series and all of the other videos we have here on the channel. Hey, I'm Coach Molly. For those of you who are new here, I help small businesses build their brand's visibility, get connected to their ideal customers, start bringing themselves out off authentically without feeling really slimy or weird, whatever that word authentic really means. And we start connecting to our ideal customers and moving them up our value ladders and ultimately making more money online. So we're going to use all of that expertise, all of that experience, and we're going to talk about marketing automation because we know that small business owners, regardless of how big your business is, regardless of how many customers you have, how many employees you have, or how big your competition is, we know that small business owners wear a lot of hats. And so my goal with this series is to give you the tools you need to start automating processes in your business, to start handing off a lot of those tasks or, or automating them in a way that they don't take up much of your time and you can start focus your, focusing your energy, your efforts, your time, and your resources towards other aspects of your business, building your marketing even bigger or building other aspects of your business, but you're able to then focus your attention elsewhere while your marketing works automatically in the background, which is pretty exciting if I do say so myself. So if that interests you, you're going to want to stick around. We're going to talk about what marketing automation is specifically and how it can benefit your business. We're going to talk about four essential parts of your marketing that you have to automate. And at the end of the video, for those of you who need to justify it, we will talk about the ROI of marketing automation. So for this and more, stay tuned. Roll the intro. Marketing automation is systematizing the processes in your business, specifically relating to marketing, in a way that allows you to spend less time and energy on them. So automation can be as simple as creating a process so that you only have to check in with that process a couple times a week as opposed to multiple times every day. It's kind of like if we thought about content creation. Rather than creating your content every single day, a new piece of content that kind of feels like you're trying to tread water and keep your head above the water, uh, that's not very fun, is it? But when you automate that process, you might, be, you might start batch recording your content. So you'll sit down a couple times a month, you'll record a bunch of videos, edit those in a chunk, and then schedule those out. And then the rest of the time, you just sit back and watch your videos being posted. It's a way of streamlining that process for you. And if I told you that automation will be not only your best friend, but your best best performing, lowest paid employee in your business. Would you believe me? Because you should, because it's true. Because when you start automating things in your business, you will get to a point in which that the, all of the tasks that are automated take up more time than you actually spend in your business overall. And those tasks all happen automatically behind the scenes without wasting any of your energy, which is really excited. You can have these as simple as scheduling out your content in a scheduler, or you can go even more extreme and hire out virtual assistants who can take on those tasks as well. Now, before we go any further, I want to know the answer to today's question of the day. And I want to know if you automate any of the processes in your business. If you do, let us know which ones you automate down in the comments. And if you don't, let us know what you would love to hand off. What aspects of your business do you get stuck in that you'd rather not have to do, that you'd rather hand off to someone else or at least streamline the process so it's less of a headache? Let me know your answers down in the comments below. Now let's talk about four processes in your marketing plan that you have to start automating because they're A, really simple to automate 
automate and be really impactful once they're taken off of your plate. Number one is your email marketing. Email marketing is something that some businesses do multiple times a day. They have emails going out, plus they have automated sequences for different funnels that people go through. It can be a lot of work, but it's a very simple aspect of your marketing that can be packaged up and handed off. You can have a virtual assistant do your email marketing. You can batch record or batch edit and publish your um, email marketing as well. It is so simple. Once you see the system, to systematize that and automate it. The second is any of your dynamic content, content like your live streams and so on and so forth. You can systematize these processes. You can hire in uh, live producers, for example, remote producers to handle your show. So you just have to focus on being that personality, connecting to your customer, selling whatever it is that you sell or offer. Um, and then all of that tech stuff can be automated or handed off to someone else. Super simple super impactful. Number three, your lead nurturing. Super easy to create scripts ahead of time and hand those off to VAs, virtual assistants, um, or to have them automated, like typing them all in and automating it, the process that way. Very easy, very impactful because it's so, so, so easy to start gathering new leads and spend all of your time in your day nurturing those leads. It's very easy as well to hand that off and have other people doing that for you. You can split commissions with them. You can give them, uh, you can pay them per hour. You can pay them per lead, whatever you, you negotiate out and whatever works for you, your business and, um, for the assistance that you're hiring by all means go for it. But look at how you can take that off of your plate. Also, a simple way to automate that lead nurturing is to create a live show um, where you're simply showing up, having those conversations, having those connections on a regular basis. Once you build your stage, um, you, you can then tailor your message um, however you'd like. So think about automating in that way as well. And number four easy way to automate your um, optimizing in your analytics. You can easily hire out assistants uh, to keep their eyes on your analytics, to suggest um, which videos, say you're creating videos for YouTube, like they, your VA can, can suggest to you which of the videos you've created in the past are best performing so that you know what content you want to start replicating. All of that can be done behind the scenes, can be automated, and can be handed off. You can also automate your optimization and analytics with different digital tools. So if you're a YouTube person, I recommend getting TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy gives you a lot more tools and a lot more in-depth analytics. Um, and it's like at the press of a button and you'll be able to visualize and see the data in a different way. Also helping you optimize that because if you didn't, if you didn't automate in that way, you'd have to do what I used to do when I would develop film um, in a commercial lab. And we'd have to open up these giant machines every day and test the different chemicals and mark them off on little point graphs. Um, and every day we'd have to check that data because otherwise there was no way of automating that analytic and that um, and able to optimize our data. We had to do it by hand. Um, so try not to go down that route. Try to go down a route that enables you to really make those deeper, better connections. Now let's talk about a return on investment. Let's talk about the ROI of marketing automation. Simply put, there was a poll recently and it turned out that 82% of the small business owners that were polled found that marketing, automating their marketing made their marketing campaigns more effective. So of course, every dollar, every resource that we put in to anything in our business, Businesses, be them our marketing campaigns, be them our social media campaigns, be them our, our serving our customers and actually doing our business. Every minute we put into it, every piece of resource we put into it, all of that needs to have some sort of return on your investment. Every dollar is important in a small business. So why not use the tools that allow you to have the most impact possible with any of those efforts? Another way that you can build up your efforts and really have a better connection um, with every 
every ounce of energy you put into connecting to your ideal customers. If you want more strategies, more support, then join us over in the Visibility Hacking community. Visibilityhacking.com, there's a button at the top of the page that says become a visibility hacker. You want to join us over there. We have so many more best practices we can share with you. We have so much more about marketing automation and more, and specifically about live shows because that's what we love to geek out about. So join us over there. And if you want more tips and strategies to boost your small business marketing, then definitely, if you haven't already, get our small business marketing worksheet. Links are down below. You're definitely going to want that one. And I will see you in our next video. Until then, remember, I love you. Be excellent to each other and just go live because your people are out there and they're waiting for you.